The worst thing that can happen to any student is to fail an exam despite preparing so well for that exam and that is why I am here to tell you to drop that method. You've been using the same method over and over and over again and it is not working. Is it not time for you to drop it and join me? Let me teach you how to prepare for an exam and this time around I am going to teach you how to prepare for oral exam. You know one thing about oral exam is that unlike the written exam that you can actually jump a question that you don't know then come back later to answer it in oral exam there is no jumping my dear you have to answer the question and you are being judged by what you say so this time around if you are not giving the examiner the point he needs to score you at that particular time you wouldn't pass that exam so get a book get a pen and then let's go through it let me teach you how to prepare for oral exam and how to answer oral question and how to get the maximum mark you can get from oral exam hi this is dr Oye. if you are new here welcome to my channel if this is your first time what are you waiting for please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i post my videos all right so let's go over to what we have here today please comment and share and like thank you so now oral exam it's called oral exam because you have to be the one to supply the answer and the answer does not come in written form you have to say it out so basically be like i'm good at writing but whenever it comes to oral exam I'm not always good at it but then even someone that doesn't even talk to people can be good in an oral exam and I'm going to show you how in my last video when I talked about how to prepare MCQ exams I talked about practicing for your exam using the same way the exam will be if you are preparing for theory question you answer you prepare the exam in theory manner that is you keep answering theory questions you write you write you write Okay, but this time around is oral. So you prepare for oral exam by what? Talking. You don't prepare for oral exam by simply reading your notes over and over again, answering questions using your pen. No, you don't prepare for oral exams like that. You prepare for oral exam by talking. And these are the different ways you can prepare. First is to have a group study. You know, Having a group study provides you with that opportunity to always talk and then don't just be a follower, also be a leader in that group study, participate actively, talk about how you understand the topic being discussed, try to paraphrase the lecturer, try to bring in things that will help you to talk, talk before you run off. I want to tell you that you can time yourself now and then one student will be presenting while others can act as the examiner one person will be the timekeeper so the exam the students will present now this time around don't see them as your colleagues see them as the examiners okay then you present while others will judge you and then the examiners that that is your friends your study group member they might give you okay for the next one hour we are asking Cassie this question and she's answering and we are scoring her so for that one hour they are asking you questions from past questions questions from from previous sets because by then you must have arranged it the time to make notes for oral question is not towards the exam the time to make oral notes like arrange notes for oral exam is as you are preparing for your other exams you make your notes then towards oral exam the best thing to do is now to revise and revision involves talking remember i said talking the emphasis on the talking okay so they will keep asking you questions you are answering once your time is over the bell goes or the alarm beeps and then you go next person will come or the hot seat and questions will be thrown at the person and the person will answer okay okay so this is how to prepare for the first one and another way is to be a teacher like love teaching keep teaching teach 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 the more you teach the more it's entering and most times oral exam requires you thinking from your spinal cord level <laughs> it requires you being fast okay it requires you being fast so the more you teach people the more you understand the concept behind this thing the more you challenge your brain so please teach be a good teacher don't hide from teaching 
don't run away from teaching like when i was in school i feel like teaching is a way of learning more expanding my knowledge consolidating my knowledge so i teach as much as i can so keep teaching keep teaching that's by the way so practice 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 like practice practice with your mirror i look at my mirror and then i practice practice in front of your friends let them criticize you don't be afraid of criticism it's a way to grow it's a way to learn okay so don't be afraid of criticism practice record yourself talking listen to yourself talking talk to yourself talk to the mirror talk to your friends talk talk to your mentor talk 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 okay learn how to talk so that you can build your confidence pray to god for insight okay let god direct you on things to master on places to focus on okay you know our greatest advantage as a christian is the god factor so no matter how much you've studied and God factor is not there i've never tried going for an exam without god so i don't know how it's like but i've tried going to an exam with god and i know what it's like and it always comes out well <laughs> they did they okay pray to god pray to your father in heaven okay because our confidence is in god all right not in what we think that we've prepared for what we think we've read it's in god okay so after you've prayed to god step out of your room like a, like a, like a conqueror like an excellent student that you are like a victor okay that is who you are so step out of your room with that confidence not in what you've prepared or what you've read but because god has your back God is with you and the bible said i can do all things through christ that strengthens me so i can do all things i can answer always all, all questions there so when i'm entering that home i'm not entering alone i'm entering with god the father god the son god the holy spirit three of them oh my god i am too blessed i am, I am too packaged to fail yes i'm too packaged to fail as a christian you are too packaged to fail do you know what you carry okay let's go so please don't allow anybody to talk down on you don't allow anybody to put fear in you because once it's that exam money so many people will be saying a lot of things okay you'll be saying big big things maybe you've not <laughs> you've not you've, you've not even studied that path and it will bring down your confidence but please don't allow anybody bring down your steez on exam day maintain maintain your steez <laughs> okay all right so please don't allow anybody to crash that confidence that you're coming out from <laughs> from your room with carry it from beginning to the end okay even if you messed up in your exam even if you messed up in a station head high because you still have like nine other stations to do well in so one station is over 20 you have like 80 more to battle with this let nothing reduce your confidence okay let me tell you what happened during my o and g exam so the first station was nice second station was beautiful third station was sweet fourth station i got there i was examining it was an examination and during the examination this man was not looking at me he was not scoring i was i would look and then i want to present this now say, your time is going you know he was just giving me some face let me tell you you will always meet lecturers or examiners that don't care they don't know you they don't know if you are smart they don't know if you are dull they are just neutral maybe you see your, your school lecturers and they know that you are smart they might just be a bit friendly but when it's like a medicine when it's oral we have a senior examiner so they, they don't know you they don't care you get so this man was not looking at me he does not know me so i needed him to look at me to at least see what i am doing so each time I, he's just distant for he's pressing his phone then i just continue though the next time I wanted to now present, the next day, they now rang the bell. Let's say, talk. This man not look at me, oh God. My confidence, my steel is always almost dropped. I was like, oh, yeah, you remember from beginning to the end, eh? Our confidence, nothing is still going to be maintained at 100%. I entered the other one with my shoulder. <laughs> they don't know who I carry. I carry cord. So I went to the other one, did my examination. That one wanted to, he said, examine mass. I checked. There was no mass. <laughs> Which mass? I did not even know the question was all about to check this if you are being smart to know if there is actually a mass or not. So the child, there's no mass. So I was like, hey, 
Are you sure that you don't have to just examine something, an imaginary mask in your head? I was like, why would they give us something? A patient that there is no mask and I just want to examine if there is mass. And I told the man, sir, there's no mass here. He was just looking at me. He's an external examiner. He was just looking at me like this. Like I'm actually talking rubbish. I said, sir, there is no mass. One mind was like, tell him there is ex examine an imaginary mass now. And I said, ah. And I said, no. I just maintained that there is no mass. I was still telling him, and I said, are you sure there is no mass there? I said, there is no he was still giving me that face, like I'm talking rubbish. Then I rang the bell and I left with my no mask. That's how I went to other stations that were lovely because I did not even allow that thing to reduce my confidence. I just meant immediately they ring the bell. Everything about that station drops. I enter the new station with a new spirit. So please learn how to enter every station with a new spirit. If not, one station can affect the whole station. Once you fail in one station, it will affect. But once you fail there, or once you feel that you, don't, you did not do well there, drop it there, drop it there as soon as possible and enter another station with fresh, renewed spirit, with smile. One thing, one thing examiner's love is when you, when you are, when you are comported, when you, when you comport yourself, you are not, <laughs> oh, okay, this is how, this is how, oh, sorry. well, you not read, and you not be moving up. <laughs> Is wrong with you calm down they love you when you are calm when you are coordinated and when you are giving them information when you are moving stuff okay not when you are always don't shout don't shout don't go there shouting don't go there with reduced tone how to answer if you know this thing you know it calm down sometimes we will say something that we know and we'll be so excited that we'll just start up with that speed and don't be so fast you know, I talk fast normally, but during the exam, I try to to calm down and like naturally, I'm a fast talk. I talk so fast and though I'm learning how to not be so fast. So I try to take it gradually and hit it. There is something they want. And once you hit it, you see them taking it and then please don't beat around the bush. Okay. They hate it when you beat around the bush. You know, a cost story that you know even because this thing is bullet points. Is bullet point okay so please learn how to to answer questions learn how to talk so oral question is all about you talking and you cannot it's not magic you don't start talking overnight you have to it you have to practice before that day you have to teach before that day you have to engage in discussions before that day so that you can be able to be fluent you can be conversant with the terminologies things you shouldn't do first don't go there crying don't cry during oral exam and expect them to they will even want to fail you nobody don't look for pity during oral exam two don't be too fast and don't be too slow okay don't be too fast and don't be too slow manage your time well three know how to engage your examiner you are talking to him look at him don't look away or he asks you a question you are looking outside look at him and you learn this by look by practicing okay fourth thing you need to know that day is i've talked about it don't allow failure in one stand affect the other one or failure in this particular examiner stand affect the other person whatever happens in one stand should end there one station should end there i know that with this you can do very very well in your oral examination Thank you for staying till the end. Bye. See you next week.